here's the interesting question where you need to calculate the missing number. You're presented with numbers 11, 44, 99, and you need to continue the sequence and determine the missing number out of four possible choices. Choice A, 111. Choice B, 133. Choice C, 155. And choice D, 176. Do you think you know the answer? Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe pause this video to see if you can calculate the solution. Ready or not, I am going to move forward and reveal the answer to you as well as the calculations. And in fact, the solution for this problem is rather simple. You just need some creativity and energy to get it solved. My advice to you, always look for patterns. Let's look at the pattern for this particular question. The way first three numbers are calculated is by multiplying the single digits incrementally. For example, the first number is 1 multiplied by 11, which is 11. The second number is 2 multiplied by 22, which equals 44. The third number is 3 multiplied by 33, which equals 99. So the missing number can be calculated as 4 multiplied by 44, which equals 176. So the correct choice here is choice D, 176. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. I'd like to share with you a very interesting question where you need to determine the letter of the alphabet. You're presented with 26 letters of English alphabet and you need to determine which letter in this alphabet is the seventh letter to the right of the letter which is tenth letter to the left of the one before last letter of the alphabet. You have four different choices. Choice A, letter X. Choice B, letter W. Choice C, letter V. And choice D, letter O. Can you determine the answer? Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe pause this video for 10 to 15 seconds to see if you can come up with the solution. Ready or not, let's move forward and get to the correct solution together. As you might be well aware, in English alphabet, there are 26 letters. And the letter one before last is letter Y. Tenth letter to the left of the letter Y would be letter O. Let me demonstrate it to you. If I am currently at the letter Y, let's count 10 letters to the left of the letter Y. It would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. You see, I ended up on the letter O. Now we need to determine seventh letter to the right of the letter O. Let's do the math. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. As you can see, this is the letter V. So the correct choice here is choice C, letter V. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Here's an amazing question which tests your imagination and spatial thinking. You need to determine how many triangles are shown in this figure. Take a close look and select one out of four different choices. Choice A, 7. Choice B, 10. Choice C, 12. And choice D, 17. Do you know the answer? Give yourself a little bit of time and use as much of your imagination as possible. Maybe pause this video and give yourself 20 to 30 seconds to determine the answer. Ready or not, I am going to move forward and reveal the solution to you. At least the solution I found. And obviously, if you have a different solution, please make sure to share in comments. Couldn't believe it, but I counted 12 triangles here on the picture. Let me show them all to you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Did you count a different number? Please make sure to share in comments. And also please share how easy was it for you to solve it. Here is the frequently used question to test how logical are you. You need to determine if conclusion is correct 
based on the statements. Let's look at the statement. All soccer players are sports persons. And all sports persons are fit. Conclusion. Some soccer players are not fit. And you need to determine if this particular conclusion is correct. You have four different choices to determine if conclusion is accurate. Choice A. It's reasonably correct. Choice B. It is correct. Choice C. It's incorrect. And choice D. Cannot be determined based on the information available. Do you think you know the answer? Give yourself a little bit of time. Maybe pause this video and take another look at the statements and at the question itself. Ready or not, I am going to move forward and reveal the solution. As you might be well aware, in logical world, there is a formula. If A equals B and B equals C, then you can reasonably conclude that A equals C as well. We can look at our original statements as A, B and C. For example, the statement all soccer players are sports persons could be an equivalent of A equal B. And then all sports persons are fit could be B equal C. Based on these two statements, we can reasonably say that A equals C, which would mean that all soccer players are fit. Our question, though, asks us if some soccer players are not fit. Do you think it is correct? Based on the information provided, it is not correct. So the correct choice here is choice C, incorrect. Because the correct answer based on the information we have is all soccer players are fit. Do you have a better way to solve this question? Please make sure to share in comments. And if you're trying to get ready for the test and need additional questions to practice, please make sure to check out additional materials in the description section of this video. Here's the very interesting problem, which tests your math knowledge. You need to determine the speed of the stream. The speed of the boat in still water is 5 miles per hour. If the speed of the boat against the stream is 3 miles per hour, what is the speed of the stream? You are presented with four different choices. Choice A, 1.5 miles per hour. Choice B, 2 miles per hour. Choice C, 2.5 miles per hour. And choice D, 3 miles per hour. Do you see the answer? Give yourself a little bit of time. Maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution. Are you ready? Let's move forward and get to the correct solution together. To solve these types of challenges, let's first look at the facts. And the main two facts are, is that the still water speed of the boat is 5 miles per hour, and the speed of the upstream is 3 miles per hour. The main formula to do the calculations is that the speed of the upstream equals speed of the boat minus speed of the stream. So we can build the equation. In this equation, x would be speed of the stream and our equation will be 3 equals 5 minus x. Based on the calculations, x would be equal 5 minus 3, which is 2 miles per hour. Did you solve this challenge on your own? Did you have a better way to solve it? Please make sure to share it in comments.